What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. I am Lubo ATM as always and welcome to another video on the channel. It's this week's Shrine of Secret Discussions. Um, if you've not been here before and you don't know what these uh, videos are about, it's where I go through all the perks on the Shrine, discuss what they all do, um, and I just kind of give recommendations if they're good or bad or worth your shards or not, you know. Um, and just kind of just discuss through the perks so um we'll start off this week as we always do at the top looking at the first perk which is a meg teachable which is adrenaline so basically when the egg or when the exit gates are powered uh, you instantly heal one health state and you sprint at 150 percent of your normal running speed for five seconds um basically an exhaustion perk but not quite um not quite the same as like dead hard and sprint burst and stuff like that but still technically an exhaustion perk so you get the exhausted status effect and it takes uh, it says 60 seconds on the screen there but at tier 3 it's 40 seconds to recover from the exhausted status effect this is an excellent perk like it is if you watch any of my videos on the channel here you'll know by now that adrenaline is one of my crutch perks that i run all the time adrenaline and bond are my usual my two go-to perks for survivor uh, you just get so much value out of it if you're in a chase uh, as the last gen's completed and you're injured you go to full speed you get the speed boost to get away from the killer um if you're the one finishing the last gen you get a speed boost to get to the gate like there, there's just so many different ways that is beneficial um the only kind of downfall of it is is it obviously it, it, it instantly heals you one health state and if you are in deep wound when the last one hits you go deep wound to injured rather than deep wound to full health because your 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 work through the state would be deep wound to injured injured to full health sort of thing um so that's probably about the only downside but that's obviously only happens if you're up against a killer that can put you in deep wounds um on the whole it doesn't need to combo with anything it doesn't need to be paired with anything to get any value it's just one you can slap on and when you reach the end game it gives you that advantage or um just just an all-round good buff to be honest like it's just it's just a really good i can't say enough good things it's my favorite exhaustion perk if you want to call it an exhaustion perk by a, a country mile if you if you want to say that um it doesn't say on the description oh no um it does say on the description what am i talking about it does say i will wake you up from the if you're asleep so if you're against a freddy and you're in the dream world adrenaline will also instantly wake you up rather than just leaving you in the dream world which i think is very very good okay perk two on the shrine this week is the hillbilly teachable enduring sorry i'm a bit kind of lost about where i should be um part doing the part for perk two um, it's taking place like four hours after perk one because something came up when I was recording and this is me just getting back. Um, so Enduring, as I said, is a Hellbelly Teachable. Um, basically reduces the pallet stun um, animation by up to 50% at tier three. Um, again, same as Adrenaline. Really, really good perk. Um, very, very strong chase perk, I would say. Um, you can combo it with, with umpteen things and, and get value. Um... A lot of people use it with brutal strength, so you get a reduced stun and then a quicker pallet break, so you can get back on your chase quicker. Um, I personally really like comboing this with Nemesis, see especially on when there's shrine or not shrine, sorry, tome challenges about hook the obsession x amount of times. Uh, pairing it with Nemesis means that you can, you know, Nemesis changes your obsession when you receive a pallet stun, so you can kind of not respect pallets intentionally, get stunned. This will reduce your your kind of stun animation and then you've got a new obsession that you can down and hook so i really like comboing them there's a lot of other things you can do with enduring if i'm being uh, i could probably be here all day but i think in terms of chase perks i think it probably is and is probably one of the strongest i think in my opinion um out there for just pure chase perks um just yeah <laughs> very very good to get a reduced stun animation um not really much else to add just very very good value um Hex Blood Favor, um, I'm not going to go through the description that's on the screen for that one because Hex Blood Favor is one of the perks that has just been reworked in uh, mid-chapter patch 5.3, um, which time of or time of release um, is live on the PTP just now. So I'll go through what the new effect actually is rather than what's on the screen there. So the one on the screen obviously says when you have a basic attack, pallets uh, within 16 meters of your location are held in place by the entity for 15 seconds these pallets cannot be pulled down has a cooldown of 60 seconds so now 
what Blood Favor will do is the pallet blocking effect now uh, triggers off of basic and special attacks. So killers that you used to not be able to value out of it, your, your nemesis, your huntress, um, people like that who primarily use, well not primarily use, Huntress definitely does, but maybe not Nemesis, primarily use special attacks to get downs, they can now get value out of this perk. Um, the cooldown has been removed, so it no longer has a cooldown, so you could basic attack somebody um, next to you, which blocks all the pallets next to you, and then you could also hit someone miles away with a hatchet uh, straight away and also get the same same outcome. There's no, no cooldown, it just unlimited triggers. Um, and the thing that I think really puts this over the top for being absolutely mental, other than the fact that it's now special attacks, no cooldown, they've doubled the radius. So the radius is now 32 meters rather than 16. So any pallet within 32 meter radius of you, when you hit any attack at any time becomes blocked, is nuts. Like, literally nuts. Like, I've seen people using this on the PTV and it is absolutely cracked. It is mental. Um, obviously, it's a hex, so it's high risk, high reward. But my lord the reward is good like if you are looping someone at a really strong tile um and a lot of times what will happen is you can you can get a you can get like a hit in just before they reach a pallet um which will either give them the speed boost to make another loop and then get the pallet on the second one or immediately throw it means now that pallet's blocked so they've taken a hit they've got a bit of a speed boost but they now have no resources within 32 meters and i didn't realize how far 32 meter radius is um which is crazy crazy and it, it, i know it, it, it's doubled it, when you think about it realistically it's actually got bigger by four times because it's a obviously it's a circular radius so 60 meters so you would have 60 meters in front 60 meters behind but now you have 32 meters behind 32 meters in front so you know like bump 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 so if you take it in like four quadrants it, it's it's crazy Maybe not, like, probably didn't explain that in the best way, but obviously I'm just meaning you get double front and back, so really it's kind of like a four times, but, you know, absolutely, again, I, I cannot explain how main, mental this change is. If it makes it to live like that, my God. Um, but yeah, obviously it's a hex, so your, your, your standard is paint it with Undying or Thrill of the Hunt or something like that. Um, I mean, like, in theory just thinking about it like pairing it with save the best for last could be absolutely huge because you could hit someone who isn't your obsession when you've got lots of save the best for last stacks all of their pallets are now blocked and you can basically just follow up immediately at like a very safe area of the map with another hit because they don't have any resources to use with you absolutely mental like i can't i can't go over how much how crazy this changes um yeah so yeah incredibly <laughs> Um, and the last one that we have here is Repressed Alliance, which is a Cheryl Teachable. Um, so Repressed Alliance activates um, after repairing a gen for a total of, it says 80 seconds there, but it's 60 when you get to tier 3. Um, when repairing a generator um, while the perk is active, press the active ability button and it calls on the entity to block that gen for 30 seconds. So it will stop killers kicking the gen, causing any regression, stops ruin from kicking in. Um, all that sort of good stuff. So basically, if you're like 90% in a gen and someone's been hooked and the killer's got you in barbecue, you can repress the lines to that gen. Um, it will block it, and it means if the killer has pop, they can't automatically use pop on your generator um, unless they're going to wait out the 30 seconds. Um, it's it's one of those pictures that sounds really good on paper. See, when you see when you think about that, I go, man, the ability to block your gen and save the progress... If you like, if you start getting chased, sounds really good, but in reality, it's really not that good. <laughs> um, I mean, like, it, it could have values, but realistically, when you're playing Survivor, it, it, say if you're running, I hate to go like go with a full meta, but say you've got Dead Hard, um, I don't know, De Dead Hard, Borrowed Time, Unbreakable, uh, DS, right? That's your build. What what one of those perks do you realistically take out to put in Repressed Alliance? probably none of them and if you're playing at high mmr are you going to take any of those four perks out to put that in which is more of a probably a conversation around the state of you know meta and and the state of the perks and dead by daylight and that the meta is so far above everything else but you know that that's the kind of point i get I, it can be fun like don't get me wrong like one of my favorite things to do is blast mine repressed alliance so 
you work on a gen for however long you blast mine it the killer comes over they go to kick it they get blast mined you run back and repress the lines so when they come out they're blind it's blocked really really funny very funny for memes but realistically you're you're running that build combo to be able to do that and get a laugh out get a laugh out of it um not really helping you in terms of objectives in the trial you know what i mean so that's kind of how i see repressed alliance it's a very good perk on paper but in execution it's just a bit kind of meh like you could use it you probably will get value out of it but i, I don't know I, I don't run it unless i'm running it with blast mind if i'm honest um and that's it guys that's this week's shrine video um sorry it's a bit later out as i said something came up and delayed it coming out for a while um but yeah as always actually especially with the blood favor change i think that change is this from an average shrine to an incredible shrine um obviously that's fully dependent on if blood favor makes it out of the ptb in the same state as it is at the moment um so i think recommendation wise adrenaline for survivor and if it comes to live this way probably blood favor is killer um especially if you don't play blight you know um yeah incredible perk incredible perk is, it is absolutely busted <laughs> like completely busted I, I can't believe it like I'll probably, i will do a video on the dev update um talking about some of the stuff that's going on maybe do some gameplay of some of the stuff that's came into it but my my lanta this is cracked um so yeah sorry i'm i'm just i'm flabbergasted by a blood favor but um anyway guys as always i've been Lubo atm thanks for joining me on this lovely wednesday um yeah Thank you. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you guys next time, peace.